In this year 12 mechanics question, we've got an airplane that flies horizontally at 150 meters per second along a bearing 60 degrees east of north. So horizontally just is referring to it not dipping or increasing in height. It says how far north from its starting position is it going to be after one hour? So as we might be able to guess, we're going to get a triangle formed here. And we've got to work out basically this side of the triangle, how far it's gone from its northerly position. Now, for first of all, we need to figure out how far it's gone in this direction in an hour, because we know it's going 150 meters per second, but we need to know how it's gone, how far it's gone in an hour. So if it's traveling 150 meters per second, uh, we can just do a quick distance equals speed times by time uh, and work out what it's going to go in one hour. So it's going to be 150 times by an hour in seconds, which is 60 times 60. And that's going to give us uh, 540. And I'm going to leave it in kilometers here because all our answers are in kilometers as well. But it's 540,000 meters. Next, what we're going to do is just put that onto our diagram, so 540, and then figure out what is this side here. So a bit of trigonometry. We know this is our adjacent. This is our hypotenuse. So I'm going to use cos uh, theta, which is cos 60 equals my adjacent over my hypotenuse. Um, so let's then do cos 60 is going to be equal to times by my 540 is going to be equal to the adjacent which I'm trying to find and that happens to be equal to 270 kilometers which gives us option A.